So um, thank you for this opportunity. Thanks for the invitation, Flo Marie. Um, and you asked me to do the metrics uh, to present in, in seven minutes the relations of a complex infrastructure with the Green Deal. Uh, it's not a simple story. Uh, so I try to report on how the long-term ecosystem critical zone and socio-ecological research infrastructure tries to relate to the Green Deal, respond to it and contribute. And the critical gap addressed in the green bubble is that S3 found that it needs an array that does whole systems research on entire ecosystems and socio-ecological systems. Um, in my next slide, um, I try to um, address briefly the geopolitical coverage and no more facts about ELTA because those can be looked up, uh, for example, in the roadmap chip. The chapter on ELTA. What we have seen since we entered the roadmap in 2018 and started the actual uh, preparatory phase project uh, exactly in the month when the pandemic started uh, was an increase in the geopolitical coverage. So we have now 20 countries supporting politically, um, 78 provided their financial assessments and we have a scientific buy-in from 164 institutions in 27 countries. Altogether, um, these countries represent what we aim for in principle to fulfill our targets, namely a good coverage of European environmental zones and socioeconomic uh, strata. And this uh, couple of pictures give you a taste of the coverage and, and breadth in terms of the habitats uh, the ELTA RI tries to cover. Uh, the next slide, and I chose a slightly different approach from AIA, uh, is to show in one living slide and mind map how the left side, which is the area of European priority setting and strategies, relate to ELTA and vice versa. So first, and um, I didn't list quantitatively, but immediately highlighted the elements first of the European Commission's new priorities, including the Green Deal, the Green Deal itself and the related strategies and actions, what ELTA relates to and contributes to. So the Green Deal, you see highlighted here, climate ambition, fair food system, farm to folk, uh, of course, uh, biggest and most important environment and biodiversity, uh, restoration and keeping the natural capital, zero pollution, toxic free environments, and very importantly, also aspects related to just transitions and the acceptability and sustainability of green deal induced changes in society. As regards the European research area, there are a couple of other elements we need to consider. Uh, the research and innovation strategy, Horizon Europe framework, uh, destination Earth, uh, with the topic of the digital twins. For that reason, I'm listing them here as well. Uh, and also indicated in terms of the missions and the partnerships, uh, what's most relevant for ELTA. Um, if you look at these themes, climate ambition, agriculture, uh, the natural resources, it becomes evident that we need both information on status and trends, but also knowledge supporting mitigation and adaptation measure in shaping European scale strategies and actions. Um, and we need this trend and uh, uh, actionable knowledge information, um, both at the scales that are more local and regional and at the continental scale. Uh, the ELTA, response to that with a couple of its uh, main components and elements therein. And I want to address only a small selection here. So let's start with the uh, NRI design, the research infrastructure design at the continental and the national scales. We have two types of sites. One, the ELTA sites are addressing ecosystem dynamics and are pretty much focused on natural sciences at the local scale. Uh, the second one is a regional approach, LTSER platforms, and both aim at comprehensively observing and investigating the mechanisms 
that drive these systems the impact of a wide range of relevant drivers. drivers. The development of the system is an output of the interaction of long-term trends and fast disturbances, singularities, extreme events. Uh, the service portfolio actually is targeted at seven main stakeholder categories, both the science, the internal ones, and the internal ones. I picked three aspects here, acquiring the information needed for integrated research, work towards digital twins, information clusters, comprising information from various sources and making them available for the site and region-based uh, research teams and synthesis and training. So these elements, uh, yeah, I forgot the international engagement. There will be one dedicated slide on that. Uh, these elements enable three blocks of interactions and contributions. First of all, ELTA uh, engages in all kinds of proposals responding to the calls of the partnerships and the work program. Uh, I want to underpin that everything we do strongly benefits from RIRI collaborations. Also in the ENRI context, we provide data and TA. The second block is that, in principle, the information feeds into anything that needs information on local ecosystem functioning and continental scale trends on the trends we are observing as a priority. Uh, and then advancing towards socioecology, the topic actionable knowledge. This is co-production science with the local population in these case study areas. Um, working towards decision-making theaters and as already uh, addressed, aspects of just transition induced by the Green Deal belong to the matters that are investigated at the regional scale in these uh, case study areas. Uh, there are only four elements that have an asterisk and I will explain a little bit, one slide for each of them on some of the details and also give you examples. Michael, you have only two minutes now, please. Yeah, that's good for slides. Uh, we have the work towards digital twins. Uh, I mentioned the whole system approach so that disciplinary teams working on matters related to geosphere up to the lower atmosphere would collaborate at the selected and representative sites. And as a basis, we provide integrated legacy trend data standard observations gathered at the field multiple other data sources, including socioeconomic variables. This is towards digital twins. The next slide is towards standard observations. We have a comprehensive assessment of what variables are currently measured at 200 sites. Currently, uh, we have analysis of the gaps and assessment of the cost of the upgrade at the network level um, from the current status to the target status complying with the ELTA standard observations. Again, the chapters and topics that are covered here. The consultation process is ongoing currently in 27 countries. Service portfolio. The service portfolio specification of ELTA uses its, as many recipes available as possible. Um, we assign every service bundle that supports a given workflow to the uh, known impact pathways. And we do all of that in a way that in both directions, we comply with the onboarding procedures of EOSC, but the ELTA service bundles, for example, trading information clusters and digital twins would right away also pick from EOSC services from the EOSC hub wherever possible. Uh, I give you one example from France about what kind of information shall be produced at the continental level and is now produced by countries and clusters of, for example, here, LTSCR platforms. Agriculture in France, that's drawn from uh, three son atelier studies and the topic was how to retain nitrogen in the agricultural areas and not let it uh, flow into rivers with all the uh, induced costs for clean drinking water, uh, impact on fishery, etc. There was a wide range of experiments uh, on uh, environmental engineering techniques, how the nitrogen could be retained. In the end, there was also an impact assessment, assessment telling us that only in France, uh, up to 800 million euro per year can be saved by applying uh, these techniques of retaining the nitrogen um, where it actually shall stay for production reasons. 
Uh, I jump over this slide. I was not sure how much time it would take. And this brings me to the last one. Uh, internationalization. Whatever we do, and of course do with the background of contributing to the Green Deal themes, we do also with a close eye on what's ongoing internationally, both at the side of the broader networking in LTR, uh, in building a global ecosystem research infrastructure as one of six partners uh, from five continents and in the group of uh, um, Earth observation in the field of in situ um, in situ uh, infrastructures and networks. Uh, I want to end with one very positive observation from my side. I think that the European capacity to act across countries, to integrate, to build something like ENRI, uh, a cluster of environmental research infrastructures, uh, has produced a huge asset of experience, experience needed to govern complex processes across single elements in response to global and continental scale problems. So I'm a convinced European and with this credo and thanks to everybody creating that creative space for us to work in, I want to hand um, back over to Hert or Jean-Marie, I don't know, and just leave, make that with some visionary pictures. I think that's the future we are aiming at, evidence-based pictures of the future and towards decision theaters where we can really support evidence-based and also fun decision-making, for example, with having excellent visualizations. Thank you.